Hey, yo, what's up guys? So this video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to seeing on here. Obviously you're used to seeing me play high level SSL twos versus other pros and semi pros, stuff like that. But for today, we're gonna be doing a workshop map, testing out my aerial ability to get through an obstacle course. It's basically like a, a rings map. If you guys have seen it before, I've done one a long time ago, but I've never done it on this map. This is a map made by, I believe Lethemir, like maybe a year and a half, two years ago. I'm not hundred percent sure on the release date, but it's a beautiful map. Uh, I've seen the, the thumbnail, it looks like a neon map. I've never played it before. So it'll be first time playing through it. We'll see exactly how I do. But if you guys enjoy this kind of thing, I'll make more like this over on uh, maybe dribbling obstacle courses with the ball. Um, this is just a strictly aerial obstacle course, but you'll see that it's it's pretty difficult. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think down below. And if you guys want to catch me over on Twitch, I'm streaming every single day, by the way, um, over there. So definitely come check me out. Come say hi. I'm streaming ranked every day, trying to go for, for rank one and just just chilling, having fun. So definitely, definitely stop by over there. But let's get into the map. I'm going to find it real quick. Here it is. All right. So I'm not actually sure. This is the map. I'm not actually sure what a good time on this map is or how long it is. But we're going to go through it and we're going to try our best to see what we can do. I'm going to try to go as quick as I possibly can. But also, I know that the trick for these kind of maps, from what I remember, is trying not to go too fast. Cause if you go too fast, you're gonna you're gonna end up hitting the ring. So slowing down and getting a control of your speed and momentum is the way to go. Especially around these current these corners or when the the rings start to dip either up or down, you gotta definitely have more control of your of your speed. If you're going too fast, you'll lose. So this is actually a really good way to practice air rolling right or left. It's actually what I recommend. Whenever anyone comes into my stream, my live stream and asks me that. How do you practice arrow right or arrow left? I always recommend uh, rings maps because I've never actually done these myself, to be honest with you. But I do think there's a lot of value in doing them because it just gets you comfortable with not only the speed of your boost, how much um, each boost press affects your momentum of your car, but it also gets you used to exactly how the different arrows work because arrow right and left is very different than default arrow. If you guys have tried it, you'd know that it's, uh, it's quite hard to get a grasp of if you're only used to default. But this map's actually really beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful rings map I've seen. So really well done to, to Lethemir, I believe, who made this map. Definitely credit to him. If you guys want to try it out for yourself, it's on the Steam Workshop. I believe it's called Neon Heights. I'll double check, but I'll link it down in the description, most likely. I feel like we're zooming through this and we're making it look easy. I, I assure you it's not as easy as we're making it look. These maps are actually quite difficult to get an idea of, uh, of speed. I'm not sure if you land on that wall, so I'm not going to. I feel like you probably can. I'm going to test it out. You can. Okay. I had a feeling because of the way this ring was. We haven't died yet, though, which I'm actually very proud of. <laughs> I was expecting to do poorly on this, I'm not going to lie, because I haven't done one in a while. Don't know if you can land on it. I'm, I'm trying to like figure out if you can land on these or not. There's no obvious tell, so I don't want to risk it. I risked it on that one because it looked like that one ring was halfway in the wall, but... It might be going too fast. Okay, we're good. I'm definitely going to mess up at least one. This is one of the situations where I need to go higher. I should have started going higher earlier, but it's fine. So I always try to make it as hard as possible for myself. You can obviously go through and like do like the littlest amount of movement possible like this. And it becomes a little bit easier, obviously, and you'll get a control of your boost. So if you're struggling with this, I would recommend doing it like that first, a very basic way. But then once you have control of that, you should try to mix in some, some air rolling with that and you'll get an idea of how to control your car while air rolling right and left. But I would start in layers, right? Start doing the basic way like this, and then I would turn it into having understanding of how to air roll your car around these these corners. Honestly, I think this is pretty satisfying to do, to play. I'm not sure how satisfying it is to watch. I've never watched someone do this before. Um, but if you guys like watching me do this, let me know. And I could definitely try whatever map you guys want me to try. If there's any map that's like really, really hard you guys want to see me try, um, I'm down to try it out. If you guys want to see me attempt something that maybe you've struggled with and how I would approach it, how I would try to do it. I could definitely do that. But it's kind of cool to get something other than just a ranked video every now and then, you know, because we all know Rocket League is uh, 
you know, it's not too unique with what you can do within the game, content-wise. Obviously, I'm just trying to always give you guys tips to improve and learn. And I think this is actually a very valuable uh, tool to use to improve and learn. I think if you're on Epic, I don't know if you have access to these maps if you're on Epic, but if you're on Steam and you're an older player, you definitely should be able to access these still. But if there's any map you guys want to see me play, even if you're on Epic, you can look at the workshop map over on the Steam uh, community market or community workshops on Steam. And you can definitely let me know in the comments if there's any map that stands out to you you want to see me do. Whatever it may be, I'm down to try whatever. But this has actually been a super clean run. I know the world records uh, for these kind of maps... <laughs> I was going to say, I know the world records for these kinds of maps, they don't actually air roll. I've seen them do like an old rings map. And they didn't air roll like almost at all. So I think it's actually more efficient time wise to not air roll. But I think in terms of practice and in terms of making the experience as, as beneficial for you as possible, I recommend making it awkward, going for weird kind of turns that you're not used to going for. And it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel weird. Especially as later levels, they usually get harder and harder. So it's going to feel weird, but it's going to actually make you better. There's a saying, uh, what is it? A smooth, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor, I believe is what it is. I believe is the saying. And I think that applies to this game too. If you don't challenge yourself and you don't make things hard for yourself, you'll never feel comfortable in those situations where you, you feel awkward and you don't know a way out. You gotta try to make things, make things uncomfortable so that you eventually feel comfortable in those uncomfortable situations in the future, right? This is very awkward. I'm gonna keep air rolling through it, try to push through the pain of it looking weird and feeling really hard. <laughs> and yeah, there's gonna be a mistake there, but I might be able to get out of it. Okay, we can. That is actually really difficult to air roll down the whole way because the boost is kind of in your face. This is all boost management, boost timing. Try to make sure you have enough speed. If you go too fast down there, it's kind of tough. I try to throw in different variations of have air roll to make it difficult on myself. But I really think that's the way you should be practicing everything in Rocket League. Even if you're in free play, like don't just go for the same shot over and over again. Challenge yourself. Go for shots that are gonna feel uncomfortable to go for, you know? Go for shots that you never went for before. Go for shots in a way that you've never at attempted it, you know? Angles you never tried to go for. Whatever it may be, just make it hard for yourself. I, gotta, I know I gotta come up a little bit here. It actually gets you a really good idea of, of your speed versus your perception of what's coming up in front of you. I think there's a lot of benefits to this, but it's not necessary, you know? I just think it's a really cool way to potentially practice um, arrow right and arrow left. But a lot of you guys have been asking me to do this for, for a while now, actually. I see it in the comments a lot. Do brings maps. Made a mistake there. Can we recover out of it? I can't really see where I'm going. We're back. Yeah, the only issue, like the only mistakes you'll make in this, if you're a really good player, will be going too fast. And that's a really easy fix, obviously. First time I'm doing this map, so I don't really have a a gauge of what I should be doing. I'm gonna try to go through this pretty fast here to challenge myself a bit. Notice I'm trying to go for like different variations of, uh, of flips in these spots. I'm not trying to always do the same kind of flip. I try to make it weird for myself. Even if I could go very comfortably like this, for example, I'm like very confidently get through the map without touching anything. I know I can do this. I have so much experience just doing very fine, fine movements like this. But if I can make it hard on myself, and if I can keep air rolling, and if I can keep trying to do things that are uncomfortable, I'll always improve faster. That, that is, that is the, the difference between just playing and not challenging yourself and playing and challenging yourself with every minute of your playtime. You're gonna get way more out of, out of an hour of very challenged playtime versus very unchallenged like five hours for example and just doing what you already know doing what you're comfortable with 
right? You'll progress a lot more in those hours where you're trying to push your boundaries. I don't know how many levels this is, by the way, guys. This could be long, I don't know. I'm assuming most of these are around either 30 or 40 levels. But again, I just don't know, so you will have to see. Doing good so far, though. I'm pretty happy with how we did. We have one death. We had like three mistakes, but talking while doing this isn't the easiest thing. I think had I not, you know, had to think about anything and just can focus purely on this, I don't think I would make any of those mistakes, but... It was also challenging me to do this, right? This is challenging my brain. It's an extra layer of difficulty. Trying to talk through all these different things while doing this. And I thought just a lot of knowledge I'm trying to give you guys that I think is really important. Not only just for Rocket League, but I think in anything. I think in anything you're trying to improve at, if you make yourself a little bit uncomfortable, you're gonna improve a lot quicker than if you don't. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mistake, but it's fine. I went too quick. All of these mistakes here went from came from going a little too quick and just Obviously not knowing the map. The more you do the map, the more you would know when these awkward twists and turns are coming. About 10 minutes here. Very minimal mistakes. Not too bad for a first try. Can't be too disappointed. And again, let me know if you guys like this kind of thing, because I'm down to do whatever kind of uh, obstacle course maps they have. They have a lot of dribbling ones that I've never tried before. So I've never tried like any of the rings maps, honestly. I've been very... Um, anti-rings maps my whole career. I just never did them. Um, but I'm fully down to try them. Oh, it looks like it might be it. Yeah, oh, it is. Okay. I thought there was going to be a lot more, to be honest, but that's kind of perfect. You know, it's not too long. I think if it was super long, people might not like it as much, but it's probably made that way on purpose. It's made by left, so probably making these for content, if I had to guess, making them just difficult enough so that they, uh, you know, they're a good amount of time for a viewer as well. But yeah, I mean, the time is not bad at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this kind of thing. I could definitely do more like this in the future. Or if you like uh, an idea I had for a rings map, someone had mentioned in my stream, it's a, a decent idea that I could do. Uh, where is it? Unlimited flips. I could turn unlimited flips on and then I could try to do it. This is really difficult, but I could try to do it. Okay, I'm using boost. Try to do it without using boost and just using my unlimited flip. And I know this sounds weird, but it is extremely difficult, like very difficult. And um, I would be down to do it if you guys would watch it. I don't know, it's it's very hard and it's very goofy looking. I guess if I could use my, if I use my flips as well, it's not bad. If I do like this, it's not bad. I could probably get through it. It is definitely hard though. But yeah, I could turn on unlimited flips and I could do stuff like that. Just as an example. Um, let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. I don't know. Any ideas, like I'm completely open to anything in the comments. If there's something that you guys really want to see, I'm down to do it. I just recommend that you guys um, look through the comments as well and leave likes on those comments that, that are mentioning ideas that you would want to see. And I'll definitely get around to doing them because, again, you know, I always make those ranked videos and I'll always do them. But... If there's anything else that you guys would want to see in between that, I'm definitely down and open to doing them. This is very interesting. It feels so uncomfortable. Oops, I accidentally flipped. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, just an idea there for you guys. If you want to give me anything in the comments that you'd really like to see, I'm, I'm open to basically anything. Just let me know. And that's going to be all for this one, guys. I hope you enjoy. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is when you guys are watching this. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.